Now, RCN News in English on TV Colombia. Vice President Santos states that Ingrid Betacu should win the World Cup of Hypocrisy and Opportunism for her recent lawsuit against the state. A 180-kilo woman finally leaves her home after laying in bed for over 16 years. And underprivileged children in Bucaramanga receive a nutrition day. Plus, Cundinamarca prepares to elect its new beauty queen. Hello from Bogota, I'm Natalia Ulloa. Topping our news today, Vice President Francisco Santos expressed his complete outrage toward Ingrid Petacur's recent million peso lawsuit against the state for having been held hostage by the FARC. Santos stated he believes that the World Cup of hypocrisy and opportunism should be granted to Betancourt and her family. He also stated that Ingrid's actions were a stab in the back to all of those who risked their lives to rescue her. To top it off, just two days after Ingrid Betancourt sued the government for her kidnapping, she calmly attended the two-year anniversary of the hockey operation that liberated her and several others. Vice President Santos reminded Ingrid that she had signed the document before her capture, where she assumed all responsibility of the risks she was taking by entering the El Caguán guerrilla zone. A broken heart and 180 kilos led Marta Cecilia Monsalve to stay in bed for over 16 years. This 35-year-old woman from Eliconia, Antioquia, was physically unable to get up from her bed after giving birth to her first son due to her morbidly obese state. And after her husband left her, she decided to really let herself go. But for those 16 years, she became the laughing stock of the whole town, reason why she got fed up and called the Gorditos de Corazon, or Chubby at Heart Foundation, to help her leave her four-wall prison. Marta Cecilia will be transferred to the Paulo Tobón Uribe Hospital in Medellín, where she will probably undergo a gastric bypass surgery. The Health Secretary of Bucaramanga and the Colombian Welfare Institute joined forces to organize a special nutrition day to evaluate the state of health of more than 8,000 children under the age of five from the most vulnerable sectors of the city. Since the early hours of the morning, thousands of mothers lined up to get their kids inspected by the nutritionists and diet experts who stated their concern for the malnourishment of a large percentage of the children evaluated. The Bucaramanga Mayor's Office, along with the Welfare Institute, will be providing a breakfast program for all of those children in need of nourishment. And the Department of Cundinamarca prepares to elect the woman who will represent them in this year's Miss Columbia Beauty Pageant. Nine beautiful women will participate in the Miss Cundinamarca Pageant, but only one will be chosen as the new departmental queen. The candidates will have to show off all of their talents and potential to the judges and prove what they have what it takes to go to Cartagena this year. These nine women must be fluent in culture and current event matters, along with displaying elegance and beauty on the catwalk. And that's a look at what's happening in Colombia today. I'm Natalia Joe with the RCN News in English, bringing Colombia to the world.